So you wanted to play some Neo Geo games and you got the Neo Geo BIOS file and it's stuck there on your game list and uh, it looks like this. You got this Neo Geo's bio file, BIOS file that you want to get rid of but you can't seem to figure out how to get it off this screen because it looks terrible in your games. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to do two things. We're going to update the .xml file and then we're going to come back to RetroPie and change a setting. So let's get started. Let's go to our PC. I'm going to show you how to grab that XML file and I'm going to show you how to edit it, uh, which is the first step here. Okay, so we're at our computer and the first thing we're going to do is open up our FTP software. If you don't know how to FTP, I suggest you watch a great video by ETA Prime on how to FTP SSH onto your Raspberry Pi. Right now I'm going to log in and enter my password, which is always Raspberry. And for those uh, who don't know much about FTP, here's my computer on the left, my Raspberry Pi on the right. And what we're going to do here is grab our game list.xml file because we want to edit it. And I'm going to start from the beginning to show you the directory it's in. You go home, PI, emulation station, game list, and you'll have a game list in each one of your folders where you have a emulator or games. I work from the arcade where that's the one we're working on where the Neo Geo uh, games are and there's my game list I'm going to download it first you could edit it here but I suggest downloading um, so you can work off a different copy uh, I'm gonna download it to my desktop I'm gonna replace this file that's already there and then I'm gonna go to my desktop and we're gonna edit the game list with notepad plus plus here's our game list file and for those of you not familiar with the game list file these are all the uh, games that are in your folder uh, on RetroPie all your ROMs and the metadata associated with it um, and you can edit manually here uh, in, in this file for your metadata or you know how to edit metadata uh, by using the select options inside RetroPie what we're going to do is we're going to go and find our Neo Geos BIOS, which mine is right here at the end, Neo Geo Zip, Neo Geo BIOS file, and we're going to delete it from this file. So I'm going to go from beginning game right here to end game right here. Don't delete your game end game list. And we're just going to backspace, backspace that line and now we have removed the Neo Geo BIOS from uh, our game list. Uh, it's still technically there, it's just, just not in our game list. So I'm going to file, save it this way because that's already the file. You might want to save it to another directory uh, so you have an old copy and a new copy. And I'm going to close out of here and now we're going to go back into our FTP and we're going to overwrite our game list file on our RetroPie or Raspberry Pi and mine was in my documents it's right here I'm gonna slide over overwrite yes so I just updated my game list file on my uh, SD card or on my Raspberry Pi now we go back to our RetroPie and we have one more step to complete before it's gone. Okay so we're back in our arcade folder with all our ROMs and games. The Neo Geo's BIOS file is still there. We have one more step to do. We're simply going to hit enter, go to other settings. We're going to put parse game lists only to on by hitting A. We're going to go back. We're going to restart emulation station. And as you can see, it's no longer there. Now, let's test uh, Metal Slug and see if it launches without the Neo Geo BIOS file in the game list, but it's still technically in that just hidden. All right, so it looks good. Uh, loads and playable and ready to go that's it guys that's how you do it thanks for watching and subscribe if uh, you want to see some more quick tips
Thanks. <laughs>